Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and welcome to another great Sunday service here at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, this last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the bread of life. Not the jiffy kind of bread, but the real good bread, Jesus, and how it means so much to us to absorb that bread. So today, we're still talking about the true bread of life and if you're getting your feel. So I pray that this service and sermon is a blessing to you. In today's gospel reading, Jesus invites us to eat his flesh and drink his blood, just the same way that we eat bread and drink wine. Now, many turn away, not understanding what Jesus meant, What he meant was for us to take him in spiritually, take his words and his teaching into ourselves and to live in faithfulness with the promise of eternal life. Now hear the gospel of our Lord as it is written in John, the sixth chapter, starting at the 51st verse down to the 58th. And we say glory to you, O Lord. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my body. I will give my body so that the people in the world can have life. Then the Jews began to argue amongst themselves. They said, how can this man give his body to eat? Jesus said, believe me when I say that you must eat the body of the son of man and you must drink his blood. If you don't do this, you have no real life. Those who eat my body and drink my blood have eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. My body is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my body and drink my blood live in me and I live in them. The Father sent me, he lives and I live because of him. So everyone who eats me will live because of me. I am not the bread that your ancestors ate. They ate that bread, but they still died. I am the bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This is the word of the Lord. And we say, praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Gracious giver of life, bread of life, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for another Sunday, Lord God, allowing us to come together, Lord God. Lord God, to still learn more about the true bread of life. Lord God, we ask that you open up our understandings and our hearts, Lord God, to receive you this morning, Lord God. We thank you in advance for all of your grace and mercy in your holy name. We all say amen. So as usual, happy Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, Now, if you've been following us, you know, the Lutheran Church, we are on a church calendar. And the last couple of weeks, we've been talking more and more about the true bread of life. Now, what's interesting is, you know, I, I, I did a a little study about just bread. And it's interesting because they really can't determine if civilization was made around bread or bread was made around civilization in a sense. Because they realized that bread was like the first, one of the first foods that was, I guess you could say, somewhat in a sense engineered or gone through a process. Before then, you could just pick an apple or a fruit off the tree and bite it. But some some inclination or some kind of motivation was placed on these people's heart to grow out, to get some wheat and grind it, grind it down real fine. Then add a little water with it. And next thing you know, they put it just in the little heat of the 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 campfire and discovered 
bread. Now, since then, you know, after that, I should say, they started making everything around bread. Conversations, dinners, they even started building the houses around stoves that could cook bread. Bread became a big, significant part of life. And there's nowhere in the world you can go that don't have their own unique, unique kind of bread. Now, I'm, I'm talking about all of this because when we look at Jesus and Jesus is saying that. In a sense, I am still the one that brings people together. I am the one that 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 your house and your foundation can be built upon. I am that true bread. Now, right now, Jesus is talking to a crowd of people and explaining to them in the same sense that he is that true bread. That still is doing everything. That's doing everything that I guess the natural bread did. In the earlier days, where it's bringing people together, comforting people. But at the same time, that bread does waste away. And Jesus is saying, I am the true bread of life. I need you to absorb me. I need you to consume me. And that was funny because these people that are out there listening to this, I, I'm not going to lie. I'll be the same way. Wait, hold, hold, hold on, Jesus. Now, you're going a little bit more radical because they, they didn't really understand what he was saying, the metaphor, the metaphorical aspect of what he was saying. Of digest my words. Inhale. My essence, my words, my teachings. The disciples, some of them said, you know what? This is when I get off the boat. I, 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 okay, certain things, Jesus, I could follow you. I like the teaching, but now you're talking about consuming bodily flesh. Ah, I, I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to have to pass on, on that one. And Jesus was not alarmed. He wasn't upset. He knew. He understood. He even said it in the, in, the, in the reading that he knew that some of them would not go along with this. To the point he even turned to his 12. <clears throat> and said, do you wish to go too? But Peter saying... What other bread is there? If it's not the true bread, what other bread is there for us to have, Jesus? You give us that bread of life. You give us the words of life. Where else would we? There's nowhere else to go. And I'll ask you that same thing. If you say that you might not want to sign up for Jesus or digest and Jesus's words, then where else are you trying to go? If you're not going to the father, who are you going to? Or do you feel like you can just eat your own bread? Think about it. Do plants or trees, they don't produce the fruit for themselves. They can't produce their own food. They always got to reach somewhere outside of them to grab and to get that nurturance, nutrients, I should say. And then that nutrience is passed on to another being. And that's what Jesus is saying in a sense. You have to eat of me. The power that the father has given him, he's like, give, I give this to you, but we and you will coexist in one another in a sense. Have you ever, let me ask you this, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Have you ever 
been in love with someone who have so much love for someone that you can almost absorb them. It's almost like I, I could just be inside you and not, not really, not in a sexual aspect like that. And it's not just with spouses, but if your parents with their children when, they, when they're born and they, before they can start talking and have their own opinions and, and, and asking questions, they say they can see that child and they can almost absorb them because there's so much love in them. So much love that I have that I could just absorb you. Jesus is kind of saying that same thing. But his is a ritual, a real thing of absorb me. Now, yes, we do the communion and we have the, 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 the bread and the wine and we do our ritual and we believe that this bread now is the body and the blood of Christ. But it's more than just that. It's absorbing his words and his teaching. See, Jesus was just talking to a group of people that was just more so after the food. And he's saying it's more than that. You got to absorb the whole essence, the teaching that I am trying to relay. Because see, if you, if you really truly eat this bread, then that hate that's in you will actually kind of move out. If you eat this Jesus blood, those, those, those hindrances of, of backstabbing, lying, getting out of your own promised area, in a sense. You eat this food. It changes. It helps your life. It's a different kind of nutritious it's a different kind of nutrition that goes into you. It's like spiritual vitamin C, spiritual vitamin D. But even, even in this, you got vitamin G. Because you get vitamin grace when you eat from this bread. In the Psalms reading, it says, Eat and, 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 and mature. Become mature in your wisdom of eating the right bread and wine. When you start eating this Jesus, when you start really eating and consuming this Jesus bread, that true bread of life, so much of your life changes. If you really actually read, not just eat. You know, it's like coming to church and just eating after church. But don't, don't go to Bible study. Don't go to Sunday school. Don't even listen to the sermon. I just want to eat. It's funny, Jesus is trying to teach so many people how to eat forever. How to thirst no more. How to hunger no more. He's saying eat of this bread. Eat of this true bread of life. Jesus, <laughs> I said this. His free bread is always available. His bread is always good. His bread doesn't mold. His bread doesn't give you stomach aches. Now, sometimes his bread might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's shaping you into a better person. And I think I said it last week, if you... If you are what you eat, then we should really look more and more like Jesus. 
we should look more and more like the Father. We should look more and more like love. We should look more and more like we love our neighbors. We should look like we are Jesus followers. If we're truly eating this bread. Jesus is asking you right now. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Eat of this bread. The words of Jesus. When Jesus was in the wilderness, the devil tempted him by asking him, said, hey, you're hungry. Turn these stones into bread. And Jesus re re replied to him then, man cannot eat of bread alone, but every word that comes from the father. That spiritual bread. Eat, eat all that you can. Get a heaping helping of, <laughs> of the bread. As a, <laughs> the old movie with um, what love's got to do with it. When he say, eat the cake, anime. Well, brothers and sisters, eat the bread. Eat the bread, anime. <laughs> eat the bread, brothers and sisters. So that God may continuously nourish you through his son. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for the bread. Lord God, we thank you for the bread of life, Lord God. We thank you for life, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to fill our souls up with the word. Lord God, lead us to the buffet of the bread, of the words of Jesus, Lord God, and allow them to enter into us, to mold us, to grow us, and to shape us, to be more like you. Lord God, I just thank you in advance for all of your grace and mercy in your holy name. Amen. Let us pray to God for the church, the world, and all those in need, in full confidence that he will answer our prayers according to his plan and his purpose. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you that your son came as the word and as our Lord and Savior. Lead us by your Holy Spirit to feed on the word every day and strengthen us in faith. Let us feast on the bread of life who has given to us the best example of what it means to truly serve you and witness to your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Oh God, build up your church throughout the world. Teach it to share the living bread from heaven that you provide so that all are fed. Oh God, continue to feed us, to work on us, and to move us. Feed us with the bread of life that we may hunger no more. Strengthen us to do your will. Create in us hearts that are eager to serve and witness to your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Have mercy on those who are sick, injured, or suffering from any other distress. Support those who are caring for them and bind them together in gentle love and firm faith in Christ. Fill the needs of all in want, especially those on our prayer list and those we lift to you in the silence of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers, O Lord, and encourage us to continue to pray to you and to sing your praises as we witness to your amazing grace. This we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we continue this online worship ministry, we ask for your prayers and your financial support as we use this medium to preach the good news. If you have been blessed by this message today, bless us in your donations and giving through your online banking, through cash app at dollar sign St. Mark Lutheran, through Venmo, at St. Mark Lutheran dash church, or by sending a check or money order to our mailing address, 4137 Washington Road, East Point, Georgia, 30344. Just a quick reminder, you know, we have service at St. Mark every Sunday morning, beginning at 11 a.m. And you can join us. And the dress code is just be you. We're located at 4137 Washington Road in beautiful East Point, Georgia. Please come and fellowship with us. We start at 11 a.m. I would love to see you this Sunday. Since we are justified by God's grace through faith, let us confirm what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, make sure you get your whole loaf of Jesus bread. Don't just try to get the slice, get all of him. Go in peace and serve the Lord. <laughs>